Hey, what's up? So, so you know, it's Best here. Here about to show you a very cool application you can use on both the Mac and the PC and really any operating system when you get down to it. But it's called Dropbox. Now, Dropbox allows you to have um, online storage. It comes free with two gigabytes. You can pay more all the way up to 100 gigabytes. Uh, but it allows you to store your information on the web and access them from any computer. It has a desktop application that you can download on the computers and actually log in with that. So in my case, like you have two computers like me, like my iMac on the bottom left and my MacBook Pro on the bottom right. You can have the desktop client working as soon as you make a change to your Dropbox account, it's affected on all your computers. So I'm going to show you exactly how that works and how seamlessly it works as well into all your computers. So right now I have it open up in Finder here, my Dropbox. And um, I have two folders right now. I have a Photos and a Public folder. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my Photos folder on both of my uh, Macs here. And now you see I got these three photos. They're exactly the same. They, they look exactly how my Dropbox account looks online. But say I want to go ahead and add a photo from my iMac. I want to add this photo. I just need to drag this and drop it from wherever I'm dragging it from. And boom, pop, drop it down. And then right on my MacBook Pro, you'll see it pop right up there. So and again, on my MacBook Pro, I can change it, edit it. It's right there on my MacBook Pro. Now, also, this works if I want to delete something off of this, delete something out of this folder. I just need to delete this, move to the trash. This is coming off my Dropbox account. Same thing happens on my MacBook Pro. And also, let me go ahead and show you my public folder here. Now, this one is uh, actually a folder where uh, folder where you can actually store information here. At a later time, you can send a link to your friends or family or coworkers, and they can actually download whatever file that you want them to download from this folder. Also, you can share it on the web as well. So uh, it's pretty cool to be able to do that with this. It's kind of like the same thing you can do with MobileMe, but you have to pay for MobileMe. So it's pretty nice. Um, now, um, say I want to go ahead and drag this Microsoft Word document because a lot of times, uh, yeah, here's my document. A lot of times you forget a uh, something at home, you forget the USB drive, and you're kind of stuck at work. I want to go ahead and drag this over to my public folder here, and like so. And so, if I'm working with some coworkers on a project, I can drag it over here, send them a link, or I can send them an email. That may be a lot easier, but you get the point. And also, you can send videos as well. So you can send again. This this comes with two gigabytes. You can send all the way up to a two gigabyte video if you have one. But I want to go ahead and send this video right here. <laughs> okay. And so drag it, drop it. There it is on my MacBook Pro here. So I can go ahead if I wanted to go ahead and start playing this video immediately once I added it to my Dropbox account. Now I have it playing on both of my computers. It works on Windows as well, just just as easy as this. But you can see here, very nice application, free to download, get two gigabytes free, and if you recommend, I think up to like six people, you get more storage for free. Uh, but I'm going to show you the website, and this is the website where I say that you can actually access this from any computer in the world. So here, you're on my, I'm on my Dropbox account online. You log in with your password. Now you're able to see all the different photos that you have here. So um, this will have all the folders, the folders that you have. And this is my photos folder right here. So I can look at this screenshot if I wanted to, or I can actually look at it as a gallery view of all my photos. So that's the screenshot I just added to it. It's already um, online and ready to go, ready for me to do anything I want to do to it. And so you also have some options here to the right. Uh, you can download the file so if you're on a brand new computer that doesn't have a Dropbox account you can download it to that computer you can move it you can rename it you can copy the file and also you can delete it from here if you wanted to um, and uh, let me see here I also got the recent events so say you delete something you didn't really want to delete or you made some changes didn't want to as a recent event section here you can see everything that happened on your Dropbox account as far as adding the photos you can see here I've been trying to shoot this video a couple times here but um, anyway you go to recent events and backtrack if you need to backtrack and um, let's see here so if you want to upgrade these are the different plans if you want to go to 25 uh, gigabytes is 7099 per month uh, 50 gigabytes is 999 and 100 gigabytes is just 1999 it's not a bad deal if you're going to be sharing a lot of information you want to do it easily you don't have to worry about having external hard drives hooked up on the network and all that you can use this and it actually works very well now for big 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 heavy files it, you know it, it'll work but it may take a long time for those those files to uh, as far as get to each computer and computer but overall if you're working with manageable files this application is great so call dropbox download it try it out for free recommend six friends you'll get more but it's been so you know it's best here another look at another good application for mac pc linux everybody all right thanks for watching i'll catch you later peace